So I've been asked if you can change the FS7 pedal to be rhythm, play, pause, but the other one to be variation. And you can on an RC500, and I'm gonna show you how. When we go into the RC500, we're gonna go into memory, and we're gonna scroll across until you find control. When you click it, you'll see here, pedal one is this one, and it's record and play the current track. This one is pedal two, so let's go to pedal two, and this is current stop and clear, and that's exactly what it says on the tin there. And then pedal three is track select. When we go over to control one, control one on the FS7 is B. Don't ask me why, it just is. And then control two is A. So control one is all start. So if you've got some loops on there, you can press all start and all stop. And that's how I have mine set up. And then control two is rhythm play pause. Now I can prove that. If I press this button, you'll just hear the rhythm start. Press it again and it stops. That's fine, but what we want on here is variation. So let's go back to control one and let's change it. You'll quickly realize that variation actually isn't there as an option. So what we have to do is we have to turn control function one off. This is where it gets a bit weird. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna exit. I'm gonna go across to assign number one. You can assign these with MIDI commands, but you can also assign it to any paddle that's actually on the device. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click in there, it's on. And what we're gonna do is instead of a CC number, which is a MIDI number, we're gonna scroll all the way to the beginning and you'll actually see pedal one, pedal two, pedal three, con expression pedal, control one and control two. So we want control one. Then what we want is we can either have it in moment mode or we can have it in toggle mode. It's quite nice in toggle mode, you just press the button and then leave it and then press it again and it'll change back. Or in moment mode, you can hold the button down and then when you let go, it'll go back. And then this, that's the source and then the target is actually gonna be the rhythm variation. So let's find that. There it is, variation. So once we've got that set, let's just go back out. So now we can start and stop this. And I'll let go. It'll go back to variation A. That's variation B. That's variation A. So that's in moment mode at the moment. If you want to change it over to toggle mode, very simply go back into memory, go over to assign number one, and then scroll across until so the source mode is toggle. So let's get out of there again. So now let's start the rhythm again. Let's change it. So now it's in variation B. Let's press it again. And it goes back into variation A. A nice little advancement as well is when you press it before the beat, it gives a nice little fill. You can turn the fill option on or off. I hope you found that useful. Check out my channel for more tips and tricks on looping.